Hello. Okay. Hey, it's working. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call the meeting to order. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Call Diane. Thank you. She heard you. Diane, roll call. Oh. <laughs> She's still on the roof. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> so why? Good morning, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad he's telling me what to do now. Okay, here we go. Browse. Here. Kabinsky. Here. Ferretti. Here. Longo. Here. Daniil. Here. McIntyre. McCosey. Here. Okay, I make a motion to approve the minutes of the March 8th, 2022 meeting. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay, we have uh, four owners that want to talk. Uh, Wally Tijan, Carol Flutterbacher, Kathy Browse, and Diane Parks. Correspondence. We got one correspondence from the planning committee. Uh, it's about the drills. Planning Committee voted unanimously on March 9th meeting to table the issue of installing grills on a trial basis. Informal polling of board members revealed that most of the board members opposed, so the committee's concluded that it's, it's no effort on our part to address the, the concerns would be wasted if they do anything else. Respectfully submitted, Donald Denny, Chair. I would like to comment to that. Um, I have a couple of concerns. Uh, number one, I was the board member who asked the planning committee to take a look at the grills um, with Bob Stober. He was on the he is on the committee. Uh, we met. We reviewed all of the concerns that were written by the um, petition that was never presented. And I was away on vacation. No one polled me to find out what my opinion is. I honestly believe that there is another petition going out there that people want the grills. Now, again, I understand the whole scenario about grills. The issue of rats, I saw the most recent picture of rats. We've had grills for 17 years. We've had rats for 17 years. I don't think this should be a dead issue. I think we should talk about it. Um, I'd like to be able to, I was given the petition for people who want to have a grill. Um, I think they need the same fair, and opportun fair opportunity to present their side of it versus the non-petition that never got turned in when they voiced their opinion. Good. I'm done. Vic, treasurer's report, none. Unfortunately, I don't have a church report. Uh, we're having a problem with the TOPS program. And um, like I said, when I was elected treasurer, I'll just give a report. We took in a lot of money, we spent a lot of money, and we have money left over. <laughs> so um, hopefully this afternoon they'll have uh, through February. As soon as I get some numbers, I'll make a copy for all the board members. Okay. Chris, manager's report? Uh, only thing I Want to remind, remind everybody about the hot wire meetings. Uh, being that I had my meeting yesterday, there's not much more to report. Uh, this Friday, 9 till 10.30, buildings 1 through 10, and 11 to 12.30, buildings, what, 11, 11 to 20. Hot wire will be here to do a question and answer session. 
So anybody that lives in those buildings, you should come on Friday for any questions you may have for Hotwire. The next 30 buildings will be done on Wednesday the 30th. Again, 9 to 10.30, 11 to 12.30, and then 1 to 2.30. Buildings 21 through 30, 31 through 40, 41 through 51. Uh, we're trying to get as much stuff done before people start going home so you will know what is being proposed. Chris, what was that last one you said? You said 9 to 10.30, 11 to 12.30, and what? And, and one, 1 to 2.30. So the 9 to 10.30 would building, be building what? 21 <coughs> through 30, et cetera. Yes. Okay? If for some reason you can't make it on your day, we're going to have limited spacing. Um, you, you may not be able to get in. Uh, if everybody shows up, there's going to be 100 people packed in here for each session. So try to come on the day you, that your building is scheduled. Okay. Let's move on to new business. Our board comments. Our board comments I'm sorry. Board comments first. Uh, start with Vic. Um, I, I have nothing this time. Yeah. Um, I'm concerned about Diane's comment. Does this then go back to the planning meeting or is it considered a dead issue? That's my comment. Okay. We'll see what everybody else wants to do. Gene? Uh, I'd just like to mention the, about the trip coming up to the Hope Chapel uh, that Pam has been putting together and uh, Pat Maggioni started putting together is a trip a bus being supplied by the uh, school you know where all the little kids had the Christmas party it'll be a trip to the school there's only a few people that had signed up we need more in order to go uh, Pam has been working hard putting it together uh, the kids at the life role they're gonna put on a little show you get a nice tour of the uh, surroundings there and I had spoke to uh, I guess uh, the leader of the school, I'm not sure you know, what a position is, but uh, and, uh, went at the Christmas party and uh, she seemed to think it'd be a great idea because they have a lot to show and uh, I think a lot of people might be interested. So just wanted to remind you, there's a sign up sheet in the uh, activity room and if you're interested, give it a thought. It, it would be a lot of fun. That's all I have to say. Right. Gene, what's the date? Is that still on Friday the 25th? Yes, it's Friday the, this Friday the 25th. And that's when we're having all these hot wire meetings. It is. Uh, we will be back. It, 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 it was, it's a decision. If you're in your buildings, it, depending on the building you're in, you yeah. can either go or you can't go. Okay. Um, we'll be back uh, by 1 o'clock. Uh, we'll probably leave at 9 instead of 8.30, as it was said in the poster. Also, depending on spacing in there, they might be able to come to another meeting. Am I right, Chris? I mean, um, Jason could probably do another meeting. We basically have yeah. them for both those days. So if it, if it worked out that, hey, we need to cram another one in, I'm sure yeah. we'll be okay with it. Yeah. Either that or, I mean, even the meetings that are going on, if we have space in there. There's space. Yeah. There's space. We're just afraid of everybody coming at, you know, that if everybody comes from each building, there could be 100 people crammed in here. Um, but if there's space and you can't make it another time, then come yeah. to one of those meetings. I'd rather have people standing in the back and be able to hear what's going on and getting a question answered than saying, I wasn't able to get in. Right. You know, what's going on? So if you can't make it on your day, try to. But if you can't, come up anytime. And just a quick comment is, the, of the people that have signed up, there's only two that it would have be affected by that date. On Friday, uh, the other ones would be on w the, the following Wednesday. Oh, um, I, I don't think we should. Since Diane has a concern about the grills, I think probably we need to discuss it a little more, or send it back to the planning committee, and maybe Diane can be a spokesperson along with Bob um, as to why we should have grills. Um, since we have a board member that's concerned about it, I think we should pursue it a little further. Diane, 
anything else? Or? Um, not at this time. Bob? Yeah, like I said at the workshop meeting, I want to thank everybody that supported me, the owners that supported me for being back on the board. And for the ones that didn't support me, I'll try to do the best I can. And also, I just want to alleviate or reiterate on these things. I know rumors start all over the place, and they seem to go all over. There's two rumors that bothered me, which, uh, which is totally false, is that uh, people were saying I was going around giving, believe it or not, boat ride tickets for votes, number one. Number two, I heard the other issue was that the, I was taking people out to dinner for votes. I don't know how these people, st I, I, I can't believe, but the person that told me this was a reliable person I can trust, told me that that's the rumor going around. And I know rumors fly and so forth, but when you talk about somebody or you hear it from somebody, go to the source and really find out what the truth is because it's aggravating and insulting for, any, that's for anybody, not just for me. One other thing is that I'm sure you're going to discuss that. I just want to say one thing about this hot water. And just one, one statement is I contacted, and I'm sure the other boards did too, is I contacted six condo associations and homeowners associations concerning this hot wire, okay? Every one of them said the same thing. They highly recommend it. Okay, that's six that I contacted. I know other people contacted something, but just for the information, and the people were very cooperative. They say if you have any more questions, you can call them. Anything you want to do, they're willing to help you. They did the gr groundwork and the homework. So that's it on that. Okay, uh, my opinion on the, on the grills, I think it's a dead issue, but I mean, if they want to continue on with it, that's fine. Diane wants to keep checking into it. Um, as far as hot wire goes, I also contacted six different or seven different complexes. They all were 100% on board with it. In fact, one just called me this morning and she couldn't talk enough about it either. So I think, I think it's a good deal. Uh, I know it's gotta be discussed some more. But I think we can, uh, I, think, I think we should go with it. I mean, I don't know what anybody else's opinion is on it, but Diane, are you checking in anything else or? On the grills? No, no, on the, on the, on the hot wire itself. On the hot wire? Well, since I was on that original focus group, um, actually. I've got a list for you. Okay, okay, because I was never given a list, okay. which also is an issue for me. I think, I think most of them are covered anyway, but if you look at the list, make sure you're not double, because some of them are doubled on there. Yeah, I list. will certainly okay. do that. Okay. But I think everybody, everybody that's done it, I think uh, you, were, you were involved in it too, okay. <laughs> Peggy was involved with it, and she called quite a few of them, and she got the same results out of everybody. So, anybody else got anything else to say? Or? Just on the grills, I had, um, the board actually never voted on it. Um, the planning committee is the one that sent it the table with it, and Personally, I don't think it should be brought up to issue anymore. Plain board more or less said, we don't want it. So I consider it to be a dead issue. Okay. Okay, so I'm not clear where we stand. Well, I mean, we can't vote on it because it's not on the agenda, so. Right, so we could put it on I mean, the put it on the agenda for the, agenda. put it on the agenda. Yeah. If it comes back from the planning board. Well, well, we've got, we've already got the correspondence from them. So. Well, actually, we have two correspondence. Should be because the first time it was um, referred to the board for vote, and then the non-petition that never got handed in altered people's thinking, and we went back and looked at those issues again, answered all of the concerns, and then apparently there was a poll, which to me is not too transparent of the board when you leave the person who actually requested it didn't get asked. So to me, that's a lack of transparency right there. You have to, you have to talk to the planning committee. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the planning committee is the one who did the polling, so. Yeah, um, according, again, to this, according to this thing, the planning committee is the one who did the polling, so. Right, but. But should a committee do a polling before it actually goes to the board and it gets voted on yeah, or it's discussed? Up, it's up to them. It's up to them. It's up to them. That's right. Chris, I mean, do committees have that authority to make a decision before it's presented to the board? Okay, so. That's the question I have. I I'm, I'm just want to clear it. So clear the way it. the planning committee works, 
there's two ways. The board asks them to look into something that they want done, or the planning company committee comes up with it on their own. Um, what what it should be is the board said, look into these grills. Their only job is to say, okay, this is the type of grill, this is where it's going, it needs a fire extinguisher, blah, blah, blah. It's not, they don't vote on it, it's not up to them to decide. What I'm gathering from what happened was, they had the consensus of six board members that were not for it yeah. and don't want to waste their time pursuing it. That's what was said at the meeting that why should we waste our time if there's six board members that are gonna vote no? So that's where that letter, I believe, came from, from what, I, cause I sat in on that meeting. I'm not part of it, I just it. sat in on yeah. it. Um, just because the planning committee doesn't recommend it, doesn't mean that the board can't still pursue it. That has nothing to do with it. If there's something that the board wants to pursue, that's your job. So if the board still wants to pursue it, you have every right to do so. You, you just don't go because the planning committee said, no, we're not into it. Does that answer it? Yes, yeah, yeah that answers it, yeah. I think, I think we could go around in circles in this whole morning. I think we should just put it on the uh, next workshop of agenda. Yeah. And talk about it and get it Discuss settled. Discuss it some more okay. so, Diane, so Diane can give us okay. her, her responses to the questions, because I haven't seen those responses to a lot of questions. and. Um, Right now, I'm not really for it, but who knows? You know what can happen. Is that going to be? Is that? Okay? I, I think that's a, a very good. Um, yeah. Put it on approach. the list. Of, put it on a list of things to talk about at the next workshop. We'll workshop. And then we'll uh, yeah. put it on the agenda at the following meeting. Right. I, I feel the board is the is the one that should have the final say on anything that has to do with this community, right. as to a vote of yes or no. That's my feeling. Can I ask one thing? Did anyone check with the landlord to see if there are blessings on it? Because I know they knocked a few things down that we wanted to do and they wouldn't let us do it, so it was a waste of time to just pursue anything that the landlord is totally against. It's her land. They own it for the next till 2038 or thereabouts. She knocked out the carports. She felt that nobody, if everybody can't use it, she knocked it out. I'm not saying she would do this, I don't know. The same with the guard shack. She said, no, you can't take it down. Now with the grills, if anybody, I would strongly suggest if they did not, the first step is to check with the landlord and get her blessings. Because if she says no, we don't have anywhere to go. Apparently she must have said yes because oh, okay. we have three grills already for 17 years. No, I mean the community, yeah, yeah, community not, grills. Not throughout they're the not property. Indi they're not, not individual the spots. They're, just, they're specifically located. Okay, so the, the only time that we have to check with Bachelor is if it is a material alteration to the property that would not be considered that or if it is a permanent change to the property so the grills are neither okay it, they would be just like the patios that we have allowed the, the 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 land lease does not address that and it does not fall into either one of the categories but do, it's don't not, you think it's not me, permanent I, and it's not a material alteration yeah. but don't you think in all good consciousness with a with the grills, especially grills, to check to see what her liability is, me, or she wants it to it, me, I would say yes. Me, personally, I do not. Oh, we disagree. Because what kind of, she has no liability on this property. She has none. It is clearly no, stated in the land lease that all insurance, all maintenance, everything is up to you guys. She, all she does is collect a check. Right. Okay? I mean, easily can send her a letter if that's what you guys want to do. I, again, I personally don't feel that that is one of the categories it falls under in the land lease. It's not a material alteration, and it is not a permanent structure. I don't argue with it, but I think it's a permanent structure because a permanent structure is something that you have to take tools and everything else to get rid of. Not like a chair you move or this you move or that you move. The That's can my personal opinion. The canopy was not even considered a yes, permanent. Yes, it was. We had to go through bachelor. I, I was in charge of the canopy and we had to get approval from because it's a fixture those posts are down into cement and it's a permanent fixture and I know we've asked you and I know she said we could do it we went to you first that's okay I was the chairman uh, uh, along Maura. with Carol I was the chairman of Mora, mm -hmm. and I worked with it with Carol Flutterback we both worked it together and we made sure 
that she would not uh, she would approve it. And it was a simple, I think it was just a simple phone call at that time. And she approved that, but that is a permanent structure. To me, a grill is not a permanent structure and can be removed. Mm -hmm. Again, I say we're going around in circles yes. here. Yeah. Chris, why don't you just let's, check Let's just talk about it. At any yes, rate, it's, uh, it's scheduled for the workshop uh, agenda, and we'll talk about it then. Right. That's what I said before. <laughs> we're still discussing it. Okay. Okay. Anybody else got anything else to say? Let's move on to the new business. Uh, okay, we need to vote on uh, the board to establish a separate reserve line item for each project being funded by special assessment. Seconded. Discussion. Now we discuss. Well, that's the, that wasn't actually a motion, but I, I make a motion to establish a separate line item for special okay. assessment items. And I second that. Okay. I think it's very important. <clears throat> Again, I have a question about that. Um, I agree that we need a special um, account for each, each special assessment, but I'm hoping that when we decide what needs to be special assessed, that we bundle it all together with line categories of what, where it's going to go so that we're not sending out a special assessment every other month based on what we need to do. So for example, um, the windows. That's a, spe that's a special assessment. Just for windows. Just for windows. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Are we going to combine that amount with the ponds? No. Then separate no. it? No. All, these are all separate. I understand they're separate. They're going but to are be we separate go line items. A separate line item. But are we going to send out an assessment in January for ponds, in February for windows, in, no in uh, what's after February? March. <laughs> in March, after my vacation. Um, for the next special assessment? Uh, that's my question. I, 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 I would say yes. I mean, there's separate if, line items. Yeah. We have to send out special assessments for each one of them. Am I right, Chris? Uh, We've done it before when we have a lot of items that are smaller, that uh, don't need a large assessment. We put them together in a group and send it out like that. We've done that. Okay. And you, you, could, you, you can do that as long as you tell the people Hundred thousand dollars is for ponds. A hundred thousand dollars is for windows. A hundred thousand is for the construction. Okay. Overall, it's a three hundred thousand dollars special assessment. Yes, you can combine it like that. Okay. So sending it to the people can be combined. Once we get their money in, we would establish three separate line items for whatever amount you guys say is being charged to that account. Okay. Yep. We just send it out in a letter that break it down. It correct. Yeah. I got a question. I jumped on Diane's thing there. It's a good point, is that, okay, say for example, we send that out and we get the X amount of dollars and we're gonna say X goes towards windows, X goes towards ponds, X goes for the uh, concrete or whatever. Now say for example, and okay, say we have it in for ponds, all right? Say for example, we're short on the pond money. Can we take that from the window one and or the no. construction one? You can, but you have to have you approval, have to have of, approval. The, of the residents. Okay, because it could, I think, see a problem where our assessments are going to be sky high if we're going to put in for windows, ponds, and construction. That's going to be a lot of money for a big nut to crack. Okay, so what I would suggest is we have Jacob write the wording yeah. that says any money in excess is any one of the accounts right. can be used for a shortfall in any of the other accounts. Right, okay. okay? So yeah. as, as long as we let the residents know that, right. that should not be a problem, but Jacob would have to do the legal Right, if we don't know what that, that's just going to be, the, the cost of Correct. everything, but this way we get it done. Yes. I think we're losing focus here, what this whole thing's about. It says to establish a separate line item for each project being funded for special assessments. That's all we're doing here. We're setting up an accounting right. uh, item, yeah. nothing else. We're not talking about different special assessments, different projects. All we're setting, okay, when the money comes in, we're going to put in a reserve account under a line. Uh, we're, we just did one for the ponds. That will go into pond renovation. If we would have to do another, uh, say, in the fall, for whatever, it would go in to another uh, special assessment line item. Mm -hmm. 
That's what we're doing here. We're not talking about different projects. We're just setting up a counting procedure. We're wasting our time here. Okay, let's take a vote. Uh, before you, I'd like to say something too. We've been kicking this around on the board for quite a while, and uh, like Vic said, uh, it's pretty clear it's something that needs to be done. Of course, the board will, in consideration, speaking for myself, of, we're not going to hand out large assessments rapidly or one a month or something like that. The amount of money and, uh, that it's going to be collected will be taken into consideration. We don't want to overboard the overload the uh, residents with uh, special assessments one after another, believe that. We will take that into consideration. But uh, it's necessary, I think, to uh, have a, the special assessment on a line item so that the money is spent only on an item. Thank you, Gene. Okay. Let's vote on it. Call for the vote. Call for the vote. Rose. Yes. Kabinsky. Yes. Ready? Yes. Longo? Yes. Danilo? Yes. McIntyre? Yes. McCosey? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're going to move on to approve the board committees. And I made a mistake. I should have asked if anybody wanted to talk about that. Of course, we're by it now, but I mean, we had four people that wanted to talk. I think it's a little late now. Yeah. My fault. Um, approve the board committees and their members. So we'll go down through these things. Let me see budget. Uh, we're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down through these and we'll see who's on the committees right now, and we will vote on these all at the end. And if anybody doesn't have their committees in place, we'll vote on that at the at the next meeting. Okay. Uh, budget. Victor Brels. Okay, Budget Committee uh, as Treasurer, I'm the Chair for it. Uh, Gene Freddy and Chris Malpitti is also members. We need one uh, owner as a representative of all the owners to be on the committee as well. I asked Peg O'Keefe to put that on 63 if anybody uh, would like to do it. The only there's one uh, requirement, you have to be here the last week of October, first week of November to be on the committee because that's when we do the, the annual budget. Um, then there's uh, one person from the uh, Finance Committee will also be on it. We're having a meeting in April, and we'll decide at that time which member it's going to be. Salary okay. review, Gene Freddy. Oh, uh, yeah, salary review. As a vice president, it's uh, automatic that the vice president uh, is the chair. Uh, working with Vic and Lorraine, and uh, hmm? as far as I know, I don't think there's anyone else that's uh, required on the committee. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously, Maura, you're the yeah, liaison. I'm the late, uh, as the vice president, also, I'm li uh, liaison to Maura. Work with Peggy, looking forward to it. Okay, we got the owner's annual meeting, and Lorraine Daniel is going to be, be the head of that now. Yes, I am. I'm going to work with Kathy. Okay. Uh, so the chair and the co-chair. So Kathy Herman, I believe, is Kathy. the chair, and Rosemary Downey would be the co-chair. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, finance, Victor Bros. Okay. Um, I'm the board liaison. Uh, so, hang on, so, hang on. You're actually a voting member. Okay, I'm the board liaison and a member. Okay. <laughs> um, Sabrina uh, Stagnetti is the chair. Uh, members are Keith Keller, Bruce Marshall, Artie Haviland, and Kenny Parker. We do have one open position on the committee. That's already on channel 63 if anybody's interested. I understand there is one person so far. Um, I don't have... Brandy, you remember the date our meeting is? Uh, April, it's the 16th, 20th? 20th? April 20th. Okay, April 20th will be our next meeting before everybody goes home. So if anybody's interested, we need to know a day or so before that, and then we'll decide, uh, the members of the committee will decide if there's more than one person uh, who will be on the committee. Okay, 
we got uh, planning, Lorraine Janiel. Yes, uh, Don Denny is chair, and we have Milt Havens, Bob Stober, Millie Chambers, and we have one opening, and I think it's already posted on 63. And Tom Kabansky is also on the planning committee. Okay, oh, I forgot his name, okay. And yes, it is on 63 for the opening. Okay, thank you. Okay, interview with Diane McIntyre. <laughs> yes, um, uh, Brenda Beanie is the chairperson, uh, Pam Denny and Pat Morgioni are interviewers. Oh, sorry, I'm very sorry. Okay, um, Brenda Beanie is the chairperson, Pam Denny is her assistant, Pat Morgioni and myself are interviewers. Okay. Resolutions and documents to Ann McIntyre. Okay, um, I'm actually the chairperson of that committee. Um, Pam Kabinski is on the committee, Bob McCosey, Randy Leap, and um, Nilsa is also on the committee. I think, no, not, go ahead, not, well, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead Ron. Mm -hmm. No, I, I mean, originally, you know, I don't know whether it changed, but originally Stephanie D'Augustino was on there, Carol Grew, Brenda Benny. And that was and last year or the year before, and they all um, said they weren't interested. That's, I just contacted John McGee, Carol Grew, on the resolution committee? Yes, on the resolution mm -hmm. documents committee. And Brenda Benny, they were all, they thought they were still on it. There hasn't been a meeting in there from what they said. Uh, actually, we revised those um, minutes or those res rules and regulations, I think, twice last year. Um, I talked to Carol Goop myself. I just called her, talked to her yesterday. Okay, okay. well, I'll go back and uh, you and I okay. can discuss this. Okay, okay. So we need to put those in place, but I mean, whatever, yeah. we've got to figure out who's going to be on there. So just let us know when we're meeting. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I will, Bob. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank uh, you. Mixed Golf. Uh, I actually, I'm going to be the chairperson of Mixed Golf, and at this moment there are three men who are the um, leaders. Let's see, they are Bill Putnam, uh, Rick Gilbert. Rick Gilbert, thank and you, Mark and Mark Menno. That hearing, which is Bob McCosey. Yeah, the uh, I'm just getting it from last year's and all the ones that he company ones this, they said they would stay. The liaison is Jim Mitchell, Manny Rios, Chuck Parks, Larry Wicklander, and Carol Grube. That's where the incumbents from 2021 that I have, and I contacted all five of them, and they said they're willing to stay on that committee. Bob, can you read that again, please? Jim Mitchell is the chair. Manny Rios, yeah. Chuck Parks, Larry, pardon me, Larry Wicklander, and Carol Grube. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, landscape. Pam uh, It is myself. Peggy O'Keefe is the chair. Carol Leininger and Chris Melpedi, and we're all in place. One other thing on the Landscape Committee. The Landscape Committee is, I would like to combine landscape and beautification. Uh, be, is there, it was divided a couple years ago, in, but I would like to combine and eliminate the Beautification Committee. I know they're the worker bees, but they could still be the landscape worker bees. I think that's a good idea. I mean, it makes sense to do that. It was all one committee before, I don't know. Yeah kind of all in one. Let's put that on the workshop, talk about it, and we'll move it. Okay, we got the defining committee, Diane McIntyre. Well, actually, I got this by default. <laughs> uh, it was uh, Tom Andrews' project when he was on the board. Um, he asked every committee to put together the, their um, mission statement and how many people were going to be on each committee. I understand that more than half of those are done. I think the discussion was, where do we store it? And I know, Bob, you were concerned about the mixture of Mora and, and the board. This is really just a storage project, yeah. so mm -hmm. I am more than willing to give it away or keep it. <laughs> I mean, that was something we discussed that we could have moved into rules and regs and, and personnel policy before. Wasn't that something we... It, 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 really, it really 
It was just gathering all yeah. of the resolutions and their mission statements and putting them in a book. Okay. Basically, the front of the book would be be board yeah. committees. The back of the book would be more committees just yeah. so they were all listed in one place. That's all. It was like we could do it in an hour and that committee is then gone. It's... Well, if Diane so, doesn't want, I'll be more than happy to step in since I gave up one of my uh, committees, Diane. It's up to you. No, Whatever that's you fine. Do. Okay. Welcome to you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be the, the so final committees. Okay. Yeah. And the communications, Diane Mechter. Okay. Um, I will be the uh, liaison for the communication committee. And I'm at, Chris Davis is the chairperson, Peggy O'Keefe. Howie Snyder, Kim Ryan, and uh, Bill McIntyre are um, members. And I understand there, there may be one more new member. We're going to be discussing that this afternoon in a meeting. Okay, that's it. Anybody else, if we don't have them filled, what we'll do is we'll vote on the, the other people that we're gonna put on there in the next meeting. But we're gonna vote, we'll vote on all these right now to approve them. I'll make a motion that no, we second. Okay, Browse. Okay. Yes vote? or no? Yes. yes, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Kabinsky. Yes. Ferretti. Yes. Longo. Yes. Daniil. Yes. McIntyre. Yes. Makosi. Yes. Okay. Again. Again, I did it. Uh, obviously, I can't ask for anybody's comments because they went by it again. Um, <laughs> well, move to non agenda items. Okay. Kathy? Sitting out at the pool the other day, I noticed the screen that picks up the leaves. It's ripped, and the handle's got all tape on it, and the two buoys are starting to get uh, mold on them. Can we do something about that? Chris, mark that down and see if we can clean it. Uh, actually, those are supplied by the house committee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Diane? Yeah, I'll be the committee. Okay. <laughs> House committee is meeting on Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that on Friday. I'm sorry. If you would put a note in my mailbox for House committee, I would know about it, and I would be glad to try to take care of it. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Wait for the mic, well, Wally. But as long as you're there. I know you're going to discuss the grills, so just one thing I need to say before that workshop meeting, because it bothers me, uh, I feel that if you're going to run a gas line from the building out to the grill, that makes it a permanent fixture. And I think that if you're going to do that, it should require the vote of the community, because you, you are changing the, uh, the common area. So just consider that, go to the attorney, ask for the legality of it, if they can do it without permission of the owners. No, another thing is the fire department on that. Uh, and again, just to comment to that, um, those issues were addressed when we started to investigate the use of grills. But good, good point. No, the attorney didn't. The fire department did. The fire department, fire department did. did, okay. okay. Anybody, anybody else? Can anybody speak okay. now or just people that signed it? No, anybody can speak now. It's not agenda items. Just wait for the microphone, that's all. It's me again about the grits. Okay. Um, my thought that yes, we have grills that have been here for years. Have they been maintained? Have they been clean? Ron, you just found a rat in one. My suggestion if you go ahead with the grills, like anything else, if the person who wants it 
buys it, like the handrails or whatever we want to do to our building. Um, and then they would maintain it, whether, hey, if they're only here six months, four months, then they have to hire someone to come and clean it because permanent residents do, want, do not want more rats. Yes, we have rats, but that would bring in more rats. That's just my opinion. And you know, you made that comment about paying for it last time, and I, I actually thought about that. That's a wonderful comment. Um, and I agree that people who want grills would be more than willing to chip in and buy them. No, pay the whole thing, yeah. Yes. And it, there would be no, there would not be a cost for, to the, for the grills um, to, the owners. to the owners. What about the gas line? Well, then? that was already budgeted for when mm. this was discussed um, last year. Again, that's one of those things that we need to go back and talk about. Okay. Um, and quite frankly, I, I agree with you 100%. I think that uh, we should be putting on rails, and I voted that we should do that. I got voted down. Well, I'm just saying it. We wanted it. We paid out of our pocket. No big thing. Right. So, but everybody can use it. So Every the grills. I was just thinking, if that's what they want, then they pot. It's their dime. Right. And if it doesn't work out, then if it it's doesn't work out, it gets taken over, taken out, and put in the shed. And right. Yeah. 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 I mean. Again, I'm coming from the point of view that we're a community of people who really like to work together. Um, and I'd like to think that that's where we're headed, to work together. I'm a little frustrated sometimes because, you know, we, we expect people to pay for things. Um, and there are some things that I understand 100%. The benches on the golf course. That was a huge improvement for the golf course, and I support it 100%. Um, but am I going to be asked to buy a chair on the pool in a couple of years? No. So again, I think there's some issues that, as a board, we need to talk about. And, and actually, I'm more than willing to do that. Are you waving to me? I'll find you, Kathy. I just want to say something about the grills. We had the patio put in outside of our door, okay? And then our site became a place they wanted to place the grills. I don't want my condo to smell like a barbecue pit, okay? I live there. I won't be able to open my windows. And even if I do, you're still going to get the smell inside. And I don't think that's fair. And the rats are in here, agreed. But you're going to bring more in because people do not clean the way they say they're going to. Okay, so those are my big concerns, okay? Yeah. And I, I just feel if people want the grill, they should look outside their condo and put them there, okay? Those that don't want them. I had to give my permission to put the patio in, but nobody asked me about the grills yet. And it's outside my bedroom window. Yeah, and I agree, Kathy, that you have some legitimate points. And those legitimate points were, again, discussed in the planning committee, and we never had the opportunity to present the whole package before it became fonder for conversation all over the place. Um, just for your, your sense of security, um, there were other options to not use that area that you're concerned about. So again, I would really like to be able to present this in a manner that is understandable and acceptable for those people who want to grill and those people who don't. It should not become a controversy of us against them. But that's my feeling. I'm not for or against. I'm right in the middle. Um, I do not want one down by our building, though, because we're right by the dumpster, and that's going to bring more rats. My thing about it is the gas is going to cost everybody money. You can buy your grills. I sat at the tournament for Bocce, and 
I watched three people try and use the grills, and it wasn't working. And the only person that I've ever seen clean this is Mr. Benny. He, he's the only one. I have never seen anybody else that uses that grill, and I'm the one that walks by it every day, and never have I seen anybody cleaning, and it was left on. Now, we do have smokers in here. If they go by and that gas is left on, woo, case closed. Okay, again, you know, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse here. I think that we put it on the uh, agenda for the work, the work workshop workshop meeting. Yeah. Um, I'm sure, you know, there, we will be able to give you a presentation to assure some of these issues that you feel strongly about. Um, and I, then I think we can move forward. Yeah, I'd like to agree with Diane and just say, if anybody has any comments, concerns about it, come to the workshop meeting instead of discussing it now. We could be spinning our wheels. The meeting there is going to be brought up at a workshop meeting. Make sure you're all there at the yep. workshop meeting. Express your opinions. That's the, then we'll let it go with that. Wally. Yeah. Uh, how about if, say, Diane, I'm not picking you out, but That's you're okay. for it, so I'm going to use I've you. I've got shoulders. If Diane wants a grill. Not hips. Can we pursue the uh, possibility of saying, okay, Diane, go out, buy your grill. Put it outside, you, you, you and I, when, when you want to cook a steak or a burger, clean it up and then put it inside you and I. Individual people that want grills go out and get them on their own. Not allowed to have it. Can't. I have seen it just yesterday. I was, uh, that's great that you have. It's against the can't law have tanks. to have individual tanks in a condominium. Right. It's against the law. Thank you. I don't care if you've seen it somewhere else, but I don't care if you've seen it somewhere else. My dad lived in a condo and had it right outside his door. Yeah. But it is against the law to happen. Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody else that wants to talk about anything? I'll just make uh, one quick comment. Don't forget the smokeless grill. I have one. Works fine. No smoke in the house. Easy to operate, easy to clean, reasonably priced. You're right, Jane. So that's another... another, another Way out of it. Um, any, anybody on the board? Kathy has a I'm sorry, Kathy. They also make nice electric grills. We have one, and it saves the cost because we pay the electric bill. So that's our grill. They're they're beautiful. We paid a hundred dollars for one. It looks like a Weber grill. Grill steaks, yeah. hamburgers, everything, and it doesn't. It's smokeless, it doesn't go in anybody's condo, and like I said, we pay the electric bill. Let's go to the, let's go to the board. Anybody else got anything else to say? No. <clears throat> okay, I just got a couple of things. <coughs> Emotional support animals, okay. We've had some problems with dogs in here, uh, emotional support animals. Uh, you know, familiar, familiarize yourself with, uh, with the rules. Uh, you will get, well, put it this way, we're gonna, we will be putting infraction letters out, we will find, and we're gonna be on top of that stuff. Uh, the catwalks are another thing. They need to be cleared all the time. Yes. Not supposed to be any chairs, flower pots, anything on the catwalks. And Lanai's, I have, I've been riding around, I haven't uh, done the back of the building yet but I ran through the front of the buildings. We did send some infraction letters out because of the catwalk stuff on the catwalks. So again, familiarize yourself with uh, the rules on that. Uh, we got bikes on trees. If they continue to stay there, they will be removed. Uh, cars, trucks, motorcycles, there's people in here with two cars and you're only supposed to have one car come to the office and you can probably put your other car up front. We're allowed two cars in here. Uh, let me see. We've got an issue with the benches. Uh, we moved some benches from the bocce ball, to the bocce ball court from different areas on the property. Uh, those were all Monterey's benches originally. Um, when everybody purchased benches, we, we moved those out to different locations and we moved some of the benches to the bocce ball court. Now, uh, some people want them back in place. I guess we're gonna do that, but once these benches or go bad we're not replacing them you'll have to buy a bench 
if you want it left in the area that you're in. Uh, the benches are $425 with one plaque and $450 with two plaques. Um, one of the other things is, I'm gonna bring this up. Chris brought this up at the meeting yesterday about uh, he sent a letter out to Brian Mass to try to get some money for us through uh, an infrastructure bill that the government's got. We are not gonna be able to get any money, which we probably kind of knew, but it was worth a shot. Uh, that was for pipes that were coming in to the property off of Canner Highway. We only got one pipe on Canner Highway, or not Canner, there's nothing on Canner Highway. Palm City Road, we got one storm drain on Palm City Road. That goes actually goes out to the river. It doesn't even come back to us. Um, and then there's two on the property over here at the shopping center that come here. But we couldn't get any money for it, so at least Chris tried. And I want to thank Chris for that. Uh, one other thing is when you're signing out for this, sign out for the season, shut off your water valves to your toilets, sinks. Uh, if you're leaving a car, leave a key with the a, with a, uh, office and try to have someone check your condo while you're gone. That's it. Anybody else got anything to say? Yeah, Jim, Ron, just to add on to that dog issue again, uh, probably in the last week, maybe a little longer, we've had five incidences with dogs attacking somebody without a leash, running around the golf course. Uh, there's two more that were out. There's five of them out there. Five incidents within a week or two. Okay, like I said before, over and over again, if you see a violation, if the dog's bark, not if the dog's bark, okay, that's different. If it's constantly barking, off the leash, pooping places, people saw him pooping over in the, in the, in the community center or the uh, memorial park there, and they left it there. Okay, there are things that are happening out there. You have to report it because we talked to somebody after an attack, a person got attacked by a dog here. We talked to a couple individuals. Oh, that dog's never on the leash. Now, the first question I said, did you report it? Chris, what'd they do? No. Oh. No. So now we're back at square one again. You're not being a, you're not being a rat, no pun intended. You're just for the community. <laughs> I shouldn't use that word, right, rat, <laughs> excuse me. But we're just gonna educate them. And my opinion is, is that Oh, and, and I say, some of these people actually need an emotional support animal. That's fine. They have the documentation. That's fine. But they have to abide by our rules and regulations. And if nobody reports it, it's going to be like that forever, and nobody's going to do nothing about anything. That's my spiel on that. And I keep saying it, and I'll keep saying it over and over again. Thank you. Yeah, we need, we need to know about that so we can set in fraction letters so we've got a record of what's going on so everybody knows. And one other thing, rumors. Again, I've mentioned this. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Who wants to talk? Go ahead, girl. Ron, I had a question about trucks. I know trucks aren't supposed to be parked at buildings. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. If a truck comes in and parks at a guest spot at your building, whether it's overnight or just during the day, that's not allowed? During the day? During, I... during the day, it's allowed. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, it kind of depends on how you read the rules, I guess, but that's, we're allowing it to come in during the day, but it cannot be there at night. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And obviously, if you've got contractors in there, that's a different story, too. <laughs> no, that's, it okay. not, wasn't okay. what I was questioning. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the rumors, again, I, I've mentioned this before when I was on the board. Please, don't listen to any pool gossip. We'll call it pool gossip, but whatever. Don't listen to gossip. Uh, if you need to know something, come to the office or come to the, one of the board members, and if we don't know the answer, we'll find the answer for you instead of listening to the gossip. That's it. Anybody else? Go. That's it. Let's adjourn the meeting. Okay.